Hi, everybody, and welcome for this new Jenkins infrastructure meeting. We had a quite busy week, um, so we, uh, we have a few things to announce. The first one is we are planning to upgrade the communities cluster that we are running. Um, we want to upgrade from version 1.18 to 1.19. We'll work on it on Friday to first identify potential issues. And if it's depending on the situation, we may also jump directly to 1.20. So that's that's the current state. We just want to be conservative as we don't want to break too many things. We have the Jenkins contributor submit in three weeks. So we don't want we want to be sure that we don't introduce potential issues before the event. So that's why we are starting now. So the plan is we work on we prepare it on Friday and then um, depending on the outcome, we'll do the upgrade next week, more to come. Um, in terms of event, what happens? We had uh, several issues in dependence, but several, still several issues. The first one is yesterday, some people could not authenticate on repo.jenkinsia.org. It appears that um, it appeared that GFrog, who's maintaining that service, did an upgrade and the IPs changed and we needed to allow so those IPs um, in our ADAP configuration in order to authenticate. So we needed to identify which IPs needed to be added and then now it's working correctly. So I'm currently writing a postmortem if you want to have more details. I'll publish a part of post of them on Jenkins Infra slash docu documentation repository. The second thing that I want to mention is recent changes, recent change to the service to the Mirror infrastructure, get the Jenkins.io. So I I had to I had to configure archive the Jenkins radio in order to be available on our air sync in read-only modes before adding it to mirror bits, which is the case now. So now if you do whatever request to get the Jenkins radio, you are always redirected to our mirror, which is pretty important. Um, so now the next step is to first add more mirror. So I would like to um, identify potential people interested to contribute mirrors. And we also identify a um, few ways to improve the performance of the, of the service, but at least now it's working um, correctly, which is great. Next topic is about the various issues we had with CI to Jenkins Radio. So we discovered, I mean, we, we had two main um, outages with ACI. So we are using um, Azure containers, container instances to run some um, some jobs. So basically it's Jenkins provision those containers, run and build and test plugins, for instance. And for some reason, we were not able to use those, those CI. So maybe Damien, you can provide more feedback here. Yes, so two kinds of issues. Uh, the most frequent one is related to ACI. We had two interventions in eight days. That's not the first time. So um, there is a bunch of issues related to the Azure plugin that are fixed by uh, Team Yacom. Thanks for that on the go, which helps. But still, we are seeing a lot of um, uh, Azure API issues. So the idea is that we should not depend only on ACI because when it works, it's really efficient. It goes uh, the agents start very fast and provide good performances. So one of the action point here on short term is uh, I'm going to write a proposal to mix ACI workload with container Kubernetes workload on CI Jenkins IO to be sure that the blast radius when the CI goes down is not uh, blocking all the jobs and that we try to balance the costs of ACI. Uh, the second kind of issues is one that uh, exists since uh, more than one year, meaning a uh, classical GNLP agent disconnection on CI Jenkins IO. I've added uh, on the report here a link to a one year old issue, uh, Infra 2548, that mention EC2 issues with the exact error message. So sometimes it's long running jobs, sometimes it's random. It's really hard to troubleshoot. Um, it seems that in the past it was related to pure infrastructure issues, time no, uh, desynchronization between controller and agent, a disk which is full, not enough memory for the GVM, 
none of these uh, symptoms were uh, during, were present during the past days. We controlled that, and still the error still happened. One of the direction here on short point action will be to switch to web socket agents, but this needs some work to be done on CI Jenkins IO reverse proxy, so that might not be a short term improvement right now. Thank you. Um, Damien made some effort to write a postmortem. So um, there are two places where you can find them. So either we consider a postmortem as um, archive, which means that we're not expecting any modification. And then those postmortem post are published on Jenkins infra slash documentation under the directory postmortem. And there you can see only two because that's only the, the beginning uh, of that procedure. And so we try to follow a, a template. So we have a temp timeline. We have um, the different things that were affected. So obviously this one does not contain the full template. And otherwise, you can also go back to akmd.io. Um, and so it's loading. And so, for instance, those are the postmortem that we are currently working on. Sorry. And so you can see a um, specific one for repo Jenkins, .org, ACI agent, and so on. So, the way it works is if you want to provide some feedbacks, review. You just have a, you need to be able to have a, you need the, the link, but there are, there are, um, everybody should be able to read them. And if it's not the case, then you should, um, I mean, then it means that we have things to improve. But we usually, as I was saying, we usually follow, so we specify chronology, what the, the, um, what was, what, what was the impact of the issues and uh, what went wrong and so on. And so we started doing this. And so once the, the document is ready, we push the document on the, on the, the, on the key repository. So that's the way um, we are working at the moment. It's just easier to explain um, technical issues. Feel free to provide any feedback to that new workflow. We are really trying to improve the visibility of what's happening. Again, when we have an issue that affects um, the Jenkins infrastructure project, we can also go back to the status page, which is pretty slow um, for some reason. Yeah, for some reason, it's pretty slow. Um, uh, yeah, that was just my machine. So um, if you go to status page, you have different kind of information. Either you, the first thing you may see is if there is uh, an, an actual issue. Um, this is something that we maintain. If you are patient enough, we are also loading uh, various dashboards. So those are just iframe fetched from the Datadog accounts. And so the idea is just to display basic HTTP response time. Because of the amount of dashboard that we have in this page, it's pretty slow. So we definitely have some, some improvements. So we just have to be patient enough. And at the end of the page, you also have past events. If you are interested to help us improve this status page, um, you can do that. There is a Git repository. Again, Jenkins Infra status. Um, sounds like my machine is just very slow, but you can build a status page from here. We work with pull requests and so on. So that's where it works. So if we have an incident, we start first, we publish the incident on the status page. Once the incident is closed, we write a postmortem. We usually communicate on the mailing list as well. And once we'll be more confident, we may start using this course. But yeah, those are just improvements. If you have any improvement you want to bring, feel free to, to share with them with us. So let's go back to the documents, to the meeting. I think we cover all the plan. So it sounds like we are good. We just have some cleanup to do in the notes, um, but it sounds like we are good. So we have identified three main action points. The first one is to communicate about the Kubernetes upgrade that will happen next week. Again, we'll start working on that upgrade by the end of the week. I would like to write a blog post on the Mirror infrastructure that we have now. It's relatively stable. We did a bunch of Amelior uh, improvement here. So if let's say, let's take this example. 
So we, I did a few changes to the Miro infrastructure last week. So the first one is I configure archive the Jenkins IO to be sure that it's only used when no other services are available. So in this case, in my case, it's pretty obvious because I'm quite far from that Miro. But I, I run some exercise from um, a proxy located in the US, and I got confirmation that if another mirror is available, then you're always redirect to that one. And what I used to confirm my thoughts was looking at the stats. So we have access to stats for every mirrors. Those stats are reset every day. And so for every mirrors, you have two lines. So let's say X mission, you have the first line, the dark blue. You can see the number of the nodes that happen on that specific mirror. And then the second li the line, so the, um, the light blue, it shows you um, how many data were transferred on that specific mirror. So in this case, it's two terabytes. Then that was uh, almost one terabyte. And, and so on. And so what I want to be sure is um, archive the Jenkins that I remain um, not used. Uh, so this time it's 700 gigabytes, which is acceptable, I think. But yeah, this is something that we'll have to monitor in the future. But I would like to write a blog post on, on this topic. And Damien will keep working and stabilize CI the Jenkins that I to, to use communities agents on top of ACI agents. Any last topic? Damien, do you want do you have anything else you want to bring here? No, that's that's already a lot. So that's then, then if yeah. you have any advice or if you have a CI Jenkins you are your user and you see issues, don't hesitate to report them as soon as possible on IRC and don't hesitate to propose help or ideas um, if what we provide does not fit your needs or if you see too much issues. We are there to improve the service, so uh, don't hesitate to give feedback. Thank you. I already put the link for the next week meeting. So feel free to go there and provide and to, to bring any topic you want to discuss. Thanks for thanks for, for watching this and see you. Goodbye.